So I will always remember the first rehearsal with the Nordwest Deutsche Philharmonie. We were doing the Firebird Suite, I believe, preparing it for a concert at the Konzerkabau, which would, is also was my debut there. And from the first downbeat, I felt the intention and kind of the concentration to what I was trying to achieve so immensely, so kind of with such alert that I, I almost completely felt like one of them. It was just this magical kind of chemistry that really from the first downbeat really worked. And from there, uh, we, we of course, I, I made my Concertgebouw debut and we did another concert. Um, and it was, it, was a clear answer, it was a clear answer for me as far as whether I would take the position when I was asked three months later, essentially. Um, so being asked, of course, was, was amazing. And I think it continues this trajectory, of course, of supporting young conductors. Of course, Andres Nelsons was here around the same age that I was um, when I accepted the job. And I think the orchestra has this um, legacy of kind of bringing up, bringing up names um, within, within the conducting world. I think it's interesting how the role of a conductor has changed, um, not only within orchestras, but within the organizations of what an orchestra is. Um, yes, gone are the days of the grand maestros. Um, and to, to me, this, this is a bit more of a healthier balance, I think. Um, I purely see myself as a collaborator, being a cellist, um, playing in orchestras, for a quite a large amount of my life before conducting, um, I see myself as a musician. I see myself um, just melding these 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 units of sound together. Um, so for me, I I like that. I, I don't really like this idea of ego or or, or um, kind of one way or or nothing. But I love to listen. I love to collaborate. I love to meld the the sounds together. Um, in feel it in that particular time because it's not it's going to change of course between one day to the other which is the exciting thing i think about music making I often say with conducting that it's also good to think about the human psychology of things because there is this mysterious kind of element of what we do of kind of trying to read the room so then we can make the music happen all at once. Um, it's really interesting for me because I've always been fascinated with human psychology and I think if I wasn't a conductor I'd probably be a psychologist because I do find that whole thing very, very interesting. But this kind of mysterious way of bringing music, bringing sound together happens to, for me, the most important way to, to achieve that is to listen in, but also to feel exactly what the musicians need from you. Um, and that part of my job, I really enjoy. I really, really enjoy, along with the technical side of things, because, of course, um, you know, the best conductors that we all know, you don't really need much rehearsal, they just show it in their technique. Um, and that, of course, is the, great, the greatest uh, kind of goal of any conductor, isn't it? 
um, and I really enjoy that side. I love exploring with the baton. I love trying to figure out different ways that I can show it. Um, and I often try and do that before saying what I want because then that challenges me as well and it challenges the orchestra to kind of look at me in a different way and see how what comes out essentially.